there. Here are your top news stories from eWeek sponsored by Dell and Intel. Microsoft has decided to take its wildly popular .NET framework cross-platform to Linux and Mac and to expand on its moves to open source the .NET technology. Microsoft announced these and other significant moves with its core Visual Studio toolset, along with new capabilities for Visual Studio Online, Windows Azure, and more at the company's Microsoft Connect event in New York City on November 12th. In addition to taking .NET cross-platform and open sourcing the technology, Microsoft is providing a new free version of Visual Studio. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was recently breached by hackers. The breach has now been contained. NOAA spokesperson Scott Smullen stated that in recent weeks, four NOAA websites were compromised by an Internet source attack. The NOAA statement did not specify who might be behind the attack. A Washington Post report pointed fingers at hackers from China. Apple is developing a full-time sales effort to boost its sales of its computer hardware and services to enterprise business users as the company pushes to expand its sales and influence in wider markets. The expansion into deeper business computing sales comes on the heels of other recent business-related moves by Apple, including the partnership deal announced in July between Apple and IBM that matches up Apple's devices with IBM's global sales and support services. SAP is rolling out a set of applications designed to enable businesses to take advantage of the massive amounts of data being collected by sensors, part of a larger push around the Internet of Things. The new Internet of Things applications, which focus on maintenance, logistics, and manufacturing, will be available in a software-as-a-service environment that will run on SAP's HANA Cloud platform. These new apps cover an expanded number of sources of the data, including a broad array of sensors and wearable devices, and can help bring these analytic and application processing capabilities out to many of the devices themselves, according to David Parker, Global Vice President for Big Data and IoT at the software vendor. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.